today we continue with our class Halachas uh, <clears throat> of Brachas, and today is class number 35. We start with Sefer Shmiras <clears throat> Hashem. The topic today is uh, root causes. Uh, the verbal um, remembrance of Miriam affliction will inspire a person to refrain from Lashon Harap one day if he is not in a habit of transgressing this bitter sin. Right? Uh, that's uh, what we're supposed to say uh, every morning. It's uh, six things, and one of them, remember what Hashem did to me, right? But only if he's not a habitual speaker of Lashon Harap. Otherwise, he's going to read uh, over as uh, uh, other pieces of the downing, and that's it. Stop right there. One second. Oh. That okay. So to, to this guy is not going to help. However, one who has developed uh, such a ha habit and thus finds it difficult to refrain from speaking and listening to to the for to forbidden talk must deal with the spiritual malady as he would treat physical in one. So as we learn in the Hilchos Dios, right? It's uh, so Rambam. I'm um, said that people, uh, people uh, who are spiritually sick, they're no, no different uh, than people who are physically sick, right? And uh, example is he gave that um, people who are physically sick would uh, um, would uh, like uh, desire uh, like bad food. So I, I think he has earth and uh, like other bad food or some of the that, for example during the. Corona people uh, lost their uh, sense of smell, the taste. So they would put a lot of, I don't know, sugar, a lot of salt. They're not even uh, going to, to, to feel it, right? Which is very dangerous, of course, as you know. Um, so same is, uh, so whatever is bad is actually, they, they think it's good. And whatever is good is actually, they feel it is bad. Right, uh, <clears throat> and same in the spiritual sense, whatever uh, people who speak Slosh and Haraz, right, uh, Rambam explains, it's very hard for them to, to distance themselves from it. It's like their life. They uh, wake up and open their uh, Facebook, whatever they use, and uh, they start sharing and see and see what, what who, who said what. Right, but to cure physical condition, one must determine the condition source and then administer the appropriate medication. Similarly, when one is afflicted with a, a, a penchant of the particular form of negative behavior, uh, he must determine the root cause that and eradicate it. So always we try, always like uh, I see what is the root cause of the issue. So sometimes a person would ask you the question, but not, it's not actually a question. So we, need, we must understand why they're asking this question. And then many, many times it's simple, straightforward question, but many times it's not. So there is a deeper root to why the person is, uh, is asking this question and not the other question. Okay. And continue. <clears throat> the root causes of Lashon Hara are alluded in the words of uh, uh, literally all gay known. All gay known. All gay known. These words are acronym for anger, scoffing, arrogance, despair, uh, <clears throat> without rule or regulation. Mm, okay, one or less. Rule or regulation, negativity, and saying it is permissible. So believe it or not. All right, we shall elaborate upon this, uh, of this trait. So call uh, all gay no. Right, acronym, acronym means uh, the, the first letters of all these, uh, how many words, okay. Uh, this, um, uh, there are those who frequent uh, transgressions, uh, there are those whose frequent transgression of the laws of forbidden speech is rooted uh, in the trait, trait of anger. These people um, are by their quick temper and their anger flares uh, at the slightest provocation. So, I mean, uh, somebody like uh, look at them a wrong way or somebody like, uh, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know, sitting too close to them, they already like explode or I don't know, something happened. He did not say hello. 
said hello to low to high to this to that so uh, he didn't thank me him enough so uh, all of these uh, crazy people right quick tempered uh, in, in a fit of anger they find it is impossible to control their tongues and speaking whatever comes to mind there is no hope in such a people to develop quality of shmiras halashon unless they learn to overcome their tendency to anger. So that's, uh, um, <clears throat> so Hafiz Haim gives this perfect example, right? That uh, the person gets angry and he speaks, so she speaks without uh, any breaks, right? But uh, the root of the issue is anger, right? It's, it's not, speak, of course, speaking the Lashon Hara is a, is a very bad thing, but uh, the root comes from, uh, from being an angry individual. That's all. That's, uh, that's okay. Okay. So continue. We continue with uh, uh, actually, one second. One second. Uh, one second. So we continue today with Halakhas of Brachas. And uh, we start the chapter, um, the after blessing, right? After we eat the food. And um, so what did we cover? We saw, uh, we, saw uh, we, we covered Shiur, right? Shiur meaning uh, the measure. So, and we de define the Kazais, we define the Kdei Hilas Pras, and, uh, and we say about liquids. We say uh, at least one release, and uh, we say what in what time uh, a person must finish release. For example, um, one was uh, like in two sips, and another one was in uh, another one was in uh, actually in nine minutes, right? As, exactly as bad. So two different opinions. Okay, so of course we're trying to, to go by strict opinion, but if necessary, uh, in the cases of need, so we can go by the more linear opinion. Okay, so section B, the types of the brachas achrona. Number one, birchas hamazon. Birchas hamazon is required when at least one kizayas of bread is eaten within kidei achilas pras. So commentary, and we're going to explain. If one was uh, satiated in um, the requirement of benching in Midraisa, if one was not satiated, the requirements of benching is Midrabanan. Okay, so it's, uh, so for, first, the most uh, important idea, right? Uh, bless, after blessing, okay. Is, um, is, a, is a blessing that has Amazon. So if person ate Kizai, Kizai is a, Kizais is uh, approximately, we said, the one ounce, 28 grams approximately, right? So if person eat uh, that much and he's satiated, I mean, I'm not sure how he could, could be, maybe he was not angry to, uh, not angry, <laughs> not hungry to, to begin with, right? He was not hungry to begin with. Now he added this one Kizais, uh, this one ounce of bread and he's satiated. Okay, there is no problem. So he's, uh, um, his obligation now to 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 bench bench is uh, to say Birchas Amazon is a uh, rabbinical a biblical one. If he was not satiated, so m most of the time people not satiated from uh, from monkey's eyes from um, one ounce, right? So it would be the rabbinical one. So he has to say it either way, but uh, in some cases it would make difference whether it was he was satiated or not. Okay. But it's only after the fact. Okay, B. If one uh, is uh, if one is kaveya siuda, um, <clears throat> makes a meal using pas kabab bekisnim, for example, cake or crackers, it is treated halakhically as bread uh, and required bichas amazon. See adam dum tzum. So we're going to get to it, but we actually uh, learn it um, in in the middle of this class. Uh, in the middle of nothing discussed of this book, we actually covered uh, the definition of bread from Shulchan Aruch and Mishnah Bura. Right, so we spent I, I don't know maybe three three or four classes learning what, what is bread and uh, and definition of pas uh, pas habab 
So pas Chabad Bikisin, just to remind us, is a, is a product of the bread family. Bread family meaning that uh, it was uh, baked uh, uh, from from a dough close to bread, right? So it's like very, very similar to bread and in the same manner, right? So maybe it was uh, more sugar added to that, but uh, otherwise it's almost the same, right? Uh, cakes, cakes, uh, they, they have crust, right? So um, they have inside. So that's, uh, and they, they uh, baked in uh, in an oven. So that's uh, part of, of those, right? All of the cookies. Here they say crackers. I, I don't, uh, I think crackers is, is not Pascha uh, Babikistin. So all of this uh, um, other things that, that we bake, right? Okay. But, um, okay, continue. So technically, if 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 person would eat that much, that much meaning uh, eight ounces, yeah. If he if he eats eight ounces of uh, cake or other pastries, all of this, uh, of course we, we we don't uh, we don't include the the cream and stuff like that. We all, we, we care about flour only. So if he has eight ounces, uh, so he has to actually wash his hands and say bir has Okay, see. One uh, when one uh, recites Birchas Ramazan, it examines all foods eaten during the meal, right? As we actually discussed last time, as we discussed last time. Okay, continue. Um, regarding which food will be exempt by Birchas Ramazan, even though they are eaten before the meal, see Mishnah Brura one seventy six two. Okay, so, um, so Mishnah Bruras there says that some things are included, uh, even though a person eats these things before, uh, before the official meal, before washing on the hands, they actually consider to be part of the meal and they would be covered by Birchas Hamazon. So some, some things uh, uh, that uh, people eat to increase their appetite. Right, or as, as Mishnah Bura, he, he's worried like opened his appetite. That's it. So it's like uh, these things are eaten even before the meal, but uh, they are kind of attached to the meal. But uh, some poskim that do not agree with that, and we try. So if you ate uh, the, the proper way, the straightforward way, don't eat anything before you uh, wash your hands. Go wash your hands, right, uh, and eat whatever you want. That's uh, the, the most straightforward way of doing things. Uh, but if he ate something before washing of the bread, so it's better to eat kizayas or more, so meaning the one ounce, and say the blessing after blessing, and that's it. And uh, then go wash your hands, and um, and that's it. Okay, and uh, and eat, uh, eat 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 the bread, or just wait until the meal starts, right, and eat everything. In uh, in uh, in uh, in, um, in the period of the meal, okay. In the course of the meal, okay. Uh, continue. So uh, so we we, we covered the chas Amazon. So first on the bread, one his eyes uh, for um, during this uh, eight, um, two two to three or maximum uh, nine minutes, right? Uh, then we say. Uh, if he eats a lot of uh, cake and pastries, and we said that uh, where was a lot, eight ounce, ounces, so he has to, after that, he has to say the has Amazon. Then the Birchas Amazon uh, covers all of the food that we actually discussed last time, that are usually part of the regular meal, like meat, fish, spaghetti, and all of the salads. How do they like? Pickles and all of these olives, all of these uh, things are covered. Okay. Continue. Actually, olives are not covered. I want to take it back. Olives are not covered. But all other things are covered. So, number two, alaf michia. Alaf michia is required for the products made from wheat, barley, spelt, oats, and rye. Okay. It is uh, required for a grain product which are baked. 
uh, for example, cakes, crackers, fried, like uh, blintz's pancakes, or cooked, like farina, noodles. Okay, so let's, uh, Alam Ikhya, it's a long, longer blessing, like uh, three, three blessings in one, that, that we say for all of these grains, that we said wheat, barley, spelled also right, or uh, when somebody drank wine, or somebody ate uh, these, all of these uh, fruits, that uh, land of Israel is blessed. But pomegranates, olives, right? Um, <clears throat> grapes, figs. Okay. So there is one commentary, and it says, uh, Alamichia is not appropriate. So, okay, well, sorry, sorry. Let, 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 let's finish explaining. And it says it does not matter how these, uh, these products were um, cooked, right? Whether they were cooked or baked. So you, you baked it in a um, in an oven, like, a, like like you do with cakes, or um, <clears throat> it's actually like a fried on a on a frying pan, like a, like a, the blintzes uh, and other things, pancakes, or or it cooked, you cook in the water, like farina noodles, uh, pasta, all of these beautiful things. So all after all of this, you say alamichia unless unless as we said they were baked. Right, and he ate eight ounces of that, but uh, it does not apply uh, to all of the cooked uh, items. So all of the cooked items, you always say alamichia. Doesn't matter how much you eat. Okay, so you never say berchas hamazon after them. Okay, so continue alamichia. Oh, no, no, alamichia is not appropriate uh, for the following grain products: a bread, which required berchas hamotzi. As the initial uh, as the initial bracha and berchas hamazon as the bracha achrena. Okay, so I mean, uh, okay, so uh, some people would think so. I, I would go stricter and say um, <clears throat> and say berchas hamazon after after cake. So unless, as we said, unless you ate uh, a specific amount of cake, you're not allowed to say berchas hamazon. It's not appropriate blessing, so it's like blessing can wait. Uh, uh, lick, uh, liquids such a beer, which requires shikhakul barley nefashos. So even though the beer is made of wheat, I think, or barley, I'm not sure, different kinds of beer, right? Uh, so even though it's may, made of this, right? So <clears throat> uh, first of all, on, um, on all of the liquids except wine, we say shikhakul, shikhakul in here, by the way. Um, translated by whose word everything came into being, I think, approximately, I don't remember that, right? Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and blessing, but in a short, like very, very short blessing. Continue. So we, we're going to, through the list of all of the things that this Alamihiya blessing is not going to work. Okay. So we said beer, continue. Uh, <clears throat> whole, um, so uh, not only beer, vodka also made of uh, wheat, I think, also in this category. So on all of the liquids, we, we, we don't say alamichia. Whole roasted kernel, wheat kernel, the appropriate bracha is is dama. It is question of whether it is appropriate bracha achrena is barene fashos. So wheat kernel, um, um, now the, the, it's uh, it's very popular. They make uh, these uh, healthy like bars, like candy bars uh, from from this all this from oats, right? Uh, from uh, from wheat, from all of the whole grain. So uh, on them, even though it is uh, it says it's wheat grain, so we do not make bremen uh, mizoynes uh, on them. We're not, right? That's not how we mizoynes. We say only. Uh, only on the uh, on um, when uh, when they were prepared, cooked, or baked from uh, from the flour. So if they if we eat as a kernel, kernel, so we eat uh, we say brepli uh, hadama. Brepli hadama means the the fruit of the ground, right? And uh, <clears throat> and after blessing is barren uh, fashor says for like for other days, vegetables. Okay, after blessing, continue. Whole roasted barley kernel. The appropriate bracha is shikhakol. 
Рост барли кармен. А да проплет браха из шихакал. И риск вечно бы да проплет браха из барена фашос. I'm not sure why is it shechakol, but we're going to see. Um, so it's not even hadama because probably nobody eats it this way. Right? It's very unusual to eat uh, to eat this way. Right? That's my guess. Okay. So that's it. Continue. Alamichia isn't required for rice in millet or buckwheat kernels. Okay. So rice, even though on rice. Before eating rice, we say bare mine right? But after eating rice, we say bare mine fashos. Okay, millet also, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, and buckwheat kernels, so buckwheat kernels. Yeah. Buckwheat kernels is kasha, uh, despite its name, uh, wheat, right? It's not wheat, right? It's not, uh, it's not a grain uh, plant. The appropriate bracha uh, for buckwheat kernels, bare pri hadama. The appropriate bracha achrana for rice and millet is uh, in kasha barene fashos. So like uh, on all other vegetables. Okay, so it was A, B. If instead of reciting Alamichia, one recite Birchas Hamazon, he is Yotzi Bidirit. <coughs> okay, I have to take back what I said before. So after the fact, so I guess there are some schemes to say that after the fact, if he's after, instead of uh, uh, saying Allah Mihya, he said Birchas Hamazon. So after the fact, they say don't 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 say the blessing again, because uh, if if we have some authorities who who say that after the fact it's good, right? So we don't we don't basically repeat. Why? Same same reason as we said before, uh, not to say the name of Hashem in vain or the blessings in vain. Okay. Next one is C. Um, Allah Mihia, made of Mizoinus, does not exempt other foods eaten in the same meal. <coughs> Unless, we say, the uh, other uh, foods are tofu to Mizoinus. So, tofu is a secondary. So, when you say Barami Mizoinus, only, um, only these things are covered. Only these uh, like, uh, grain products are co covered. Uh, not uh, products that uh, that are made from uh, flour that is made from five uh, grains covered, but not uh, any other food unless it is a subordinate. So what, what is subordinate? If you, if uh, for example you have a uh, uh, cheese danish, right? You have cheese danish, so uh, the cheese is secondary. So you have uh, you say vitamin and and it covered cheese, or you have a jelly in the danish. Whatever we have like inside, it's covered. Uh, you, 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 you don't need to say in other separate blessings. <clears throat> so uh, so give, they give an example. For example, if one ate roast beef, uh, farfel, and uh, uh, string beans, two brachas would be required. Uh, first, alamichia for the farfel, because it, I think it's uh, made of wheat. Uh, and barene fashos, uh, then barene fashos for the beef and string beans. I'm not sure why they say it's a uh, shechako. I think it's typo. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I'm not sure why they're saying that. Oh, one second. Somebody wants to join. So, so let me read this example one more time, but uh, let me explain what it says. So it says, for example, if one uh, ate roast beef, farfel, a uh, string beans, two bracha would be required. First, alamichia, and second, um, I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's a type. He, he, he said, Berene Fashof. Berene Fashof, it's, it's after a blessing. The second, uh, <clears throat> I think you, you would need to say on string beans one, one blessing, and on uh, the beef, uh, another blessing. So you would need to, to say three blessings. Okay. So next one, D. Allah Mihiyah, Allah Gefen, Allah 
So as, as we said before, this uh, blessing, Alamichia consists of three parts, right? If you ate uh, misoinus, if you drank wine, or you ate all of these foods that we listed before, right? <clears throat> so Alamichia, Alagefen, Ala eats can can and should be combined in the same brach. For example, if one ate cake and grapes, the bracha lana is ala mechia vel kalkavla vel ha eats. Right. So when when we eat, uh, as, as I think it's a perfect example. So we eat uh, cake, uh, we eat uh, grapes, and we drink wine. So we have to in, uh, insert everything in one blessing, right? <clears throat> if you look at your cedar, you, you will see what I mean. So you, you, you see, you, you do it in the beginning of the blessing and in the end of the blessing, you list uh, <clears throat> all, all, all of this that, that you ate. Okay, number three, Allah Geffen. Allah Geffen is required if one drinks at least one release of wine or grape juice. Um, within the time period I discussed above. Okay. Um, commentary. Regardless the halakhic uh, definition of the wine and grape juice, for example, how to classify wines diluted with water or mixed with seltzer, etc. or to two, one, and to four, three, to four, six. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so wine has to be a certain uh, consistency, right? It, it cannot be, it cannot have too much uh, water. So um, many times you can, uh, to, today whatever we buy wine in a, in a store, they already dilute it with water. How much water, we don't know, right? So technically the proper way is, uh, um, <clears throat> The proper way is uh, is is uh, if if you want to dilute it more than I would say twenty five percent, you have to call the company. No, not the company, the the cashless uh, company, or send an email and ask them how much you can dilute. So they would know how much water these people had, because otherwise, if uh, if they uh, if you dilute too much, so it's not going to be halakhically wine, and you would be making a blessing in way. <clears throat> Okay, so one more time, Allegefen, so I mean uh, this uh, wine, fruit of the wine. Allegefen is required if one drinks at least one Revis of wine. So Revis, we said from uh, um, 2.9 to 5.5 ounces, okay, or grape juice. Grape juice, so grape juice is uh, considered wine, I mean the same halakha supplies, within the time period discussed above. Okay, so we said, so this guy, uh, so the most stricter one was in two sips, uh, this um, this amount, or um, the more lenient one was uh, they they compared it to bread, which is up to nine minutes. Uh, B the allegefen uh, covers not only the wine but also all other beverages which one drank at the, uh, at that time, as discussed in chapter six. For example, if one drank release of grape juice and also drank a cup of soda, he may not make a separate brain of a shot on soda. So that's what actually we discussed uh, last time, like uh, after class question, but here, here we go. So all the Geffen, so, um, so first of all, as, as we said before, this uh, uh, wine covers all other beverages, whatever is on, on the table at least in front of him, where he may um, meant to drink them. <clears throat> Right, and after he finished, so he said only he's saying only one blessing, this Allah Geffen, um, and that's it. Right, and it's covered soda or whatever tea or coffee or whatever they were drinking uh, after wine and before wine. Before wine, not a good idea. After wine, after wine is more more appropriate. Okay, C. If instead of rec uh, reciting Allah Geffen, one recite Birchas Kamotzi. He's Yotzi Bidiyavit. Also, um, also, if instead of reciting Allah Gif and one recite Allah Mechia, he's Yotzi Bidiyavit. So um, the person make, uh, made a mistake, right? And instead of uh, saying uh, fruit of the wine, right? So, so he said Birchaz uh, Hamazon, like it, it is bread. So after the fact, 
he does not have to uh, save his blessing again. Or he said, uh, instead of Allah Geffen, in Fruit of the Wine, he said, uh, Allah Mihya, the, um, <clears throat> the things that satiate, right? So after that, he would say only after the Mizoinus. So after the fact, uh, he's Yotze, meaning he fulfilled his obligation after the fact. Uh, the fourth one is al-qaid. al uh, uh, the, what we say on uh, after the fruits. Uh, as we list all these fruits. Okay, they're going to list now. al is required if one eats at least uh, one kizais of olives. Kizais, as we said, one ounce and 28 grams. Um, olives, dates, grapes, figs, or pomegranates. So all of these five uh, species. Vizim uh, kidei achilas pras. So now since it is food, so nobody, it will be solid foods, nobody disputes. They say, they dispute uh, what time period it is. So let's say from three to nine minutes. Okay. B, the appropriate bracha for all these types of fruit, other than above, is barene fashos. Oh, I'm sorry. All of the appropriate bracha for all other fruits, all other fruits. So all of the apples, uh, I don't know, uh, um, all the other things, right? Pears, okay, oranges. So for all other fruits except these five, we say uh, but um, right? And um, and the, the end blessing is Baren Fashos, regular blessing, as we said after everything else. However, if one ate his eyes of olives, dates, grapes, etc., and also ate fruits uh, of the tree. One uh, uh, only one bracha achrana is required. Allah eats, right? So if he ate uh, grapes and uh, and apples, so he says um, bless. If he ate enough grapes, as he had the eight kizais of grapes, so he said bl blessing after the grapes, and they include uh, the apples as well. Okay. Uh, continue. So and uh, the last the blessing, of course, barene fashos. So we said uh, for foods and beverages, of course. Uh, a foods. Barenda for sure is required if one a, uh, eats kizais of any food other than those listed above. So what is listed above? So just remind bread, misoinus uh, or bread products, um, uh, wine, and five, uh, the, these five species uh, of um, Fruit of the tree, which is olive, dates, grapes, uh, figs, and pomegranates. Okay. So, Barani Fashos is required uh, if one ate kizais on any food other than uh, listed above, provided that it's eaten with a kidei achilas pras. So, this kidei achilas pras, this three to nine minutes, it's actually everywhere. Okay. So, continue. Uh, if, uh, if, if uh, two have kazais, kazais of different food. For example, half kazais, uh, kazais of apple and half kazais of candy. Eaten with a kedei hilas pras. Barene fashos is required. So this, uh, the solid foods can combine. However, we have kazais of food and half, and, uh, half of reviews of beverages are co consumed together. They do not cons uh, consolidate. And bracha achrana may not be said. So uh, liquids combine to, to reach the, the minimum requirement uh, of the, for, for the blessing. And solid foods also combine to, to, to reach the, the minimum requirements, okay? Mm. But liquids and solids do not combine. Yeah, okay. So just make sure that you or drink a little more so to, uh, or uh, eat, eat a little more just uh, to make sure that uh, so you would be able to say the blessing. Okay. So we just say foods. Uh, second one is beverages. But any fashos is required if one drinks reviews of any beverage other than wine or grape juice, provided that reviews was consumed within minimum time uh, period discussed above. Okay. So with, uh, with beverages, we say it's a release. So release, we said 2.9 to 5.1 ounces. Okay. And we say it's a minimum amount 
discussed above, so to remind us, so in two sips, basically, it's not a lot. So three ounces in two sips, it's not a lot. Okay. Or uh, if he wants to go, if you want to go by more linear opinion, so it's up to nine minutes. Uh, <clears throat> if two and a half, um, two half reviews of different beverages, for example, half reviews of orange juice, and half review of a soda are consumed within the minimum time period discussed above, Braha Hlana is required. So as we said before, the liquids uh, do combine. Solids combine, but solids and liquids do not combine. So one second, let me see. Okay, so let's continue. <clears throat> um, so it says, um, Brenda Fashos is required if one drinks the beer of water, providing that the water <clears throat> was drunk to quench his thirst. If the water is uh, consumed for purposes other than to quench thirst, Bracha, Achrana is not required. See chapter 13. So it's very interesting. It's one of the exceptions. So since the water doesn't have a taste or smell, so a uh, person does not uh, derive like uh, any special pleasure from drinking like pure, pure water. We don't have, uh, we don't say like uh, uh, there's some uh, addition to the water, like like flavor, no, no, no flavors. So, but if it's to quench his thirst, so for sure, that uh, was drunk for enjoyment and person has to say uh, <clears throat> blessing afterwards. Um, <clears throat> But um, I'm not sure, I'm, 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 I'm checking if he's going to say, but if you drink water, for example, to, to swallow the, the medicine, right, or, or you, you drink just for hydration, right, or I don't know, doctor tells you you have some kind of test, they, they tell you to, to drink I don't know, uh, half a gallon of water, or whatever, a gallon of water, whatever they ask you. Right, so that's of course you don't do it for your enjoyment, so you don't say that for blessed communion. <clears throat> it's an exception for foods we do say because you derive some kind of pleasure. To illustrate, a person is not sure uh, if he ate amount of food which required brachachrana. In order to remove his doubt, he wishes to drink a release or more of water so that uh, he can make brachachrana. Since the water is not being taken to quench his thirst. Uh, neither shihakol nor boren nefashos may be made. So that's a good example. So we, we said that before there's some exception uh, like um, from the rule. Uh, some exception uh, from, from the rule. And um, <clears throat> uh, and then uh, not exceptional when when you're trying to, to fix the situation. So how can you fix the situation? So you, you're trying to, um, you're trying uh, to, to eat something else, right? And uh, enough. So you would, be, uh, you would be required to say blessing. And uh, in this blessing, you, uh, you want also to include something that was questionable. So you, you forgot, you say the blessing, you did not say the blessing. So it, it for sure it's going to work with everything else besides water. So since you, you're not drinking in this case the uh, water for to quench your thirst, you're trying to fix the situation. So in this case you're not required to say blessing on the, on the water, and basically you cannot fix the situation with water. With anything else uh, that requires same blessing that you have doubt uh, with, so you can fix the situation. Okay. So if you have a doubt, let, let's say you start eating apple, and now you don't remember, did I say blessing on apple? I did not say blessing on apple. So what you should do, you should uh, uh, take something that was not in front of you, for example, in your, um, in your uh, refrigerator, you have grapes, so you can take a few grapes, say blessing on them, and um, uh, like in your mind, and have in your mind that it should also cover uh, cover the apple. So that's uh, how you fix the situation. Of course, when you finish, so may maybe eat one grape, or as we said before, maybe cut it in half even would be better, right? Because according to some opinion, if you ate actually the whole 
of any fruit, it's uh, you, you have to say the blessing regardless how how big the fruit. And right? so don't put you in that situation, basically. Okay, so continue. C, Ikar and Tofel combination. So Ikar, that's, I mean, from chapter one or chapter two, no, maybe from chapter two or three, right? something like that. Very, like, very beginning of the book. So Ikar, uh, we say it's a primary and Tofel is subordinate. Okay. Oh, is, okay, it's actually chapter four, okay. <laughs> As we learned in chapter four, that one, uh, one food item, is subordinate to another, subordinate to another, whether in a mixture or um, a mixture, combination, combination, or individual, the bracha on Ikar primary exam the top of subordinate. Just as the bracha reshana, the initial bracha, uh, on the Ikar covers the tofel, so does the, the bracha achrana, uh, on the Ikar covers the tofel. So we have primary and we have secondary, so uh, you say blessing only on the primary and uh, subordinate, no, not secondary, subordinate is the correct one. Subordinate is, uh, is a covered. So, and after blessing, you say only on the primary and subordinate is covered. Uh, to illustrate, um, if appropriate uh, bracha achrana on the ikar component is a combination uh, of combination of barene fashos and bracha achrana that bracha achrana will exempt all of the other components as well. For example, if uh, most fruit cocktails requires the grapes, now in most for uh, mixture the, the grapes for which the bracha achrana is always are not the majority ingredients. Since uh, the other fruits, uh, the ikar, the appropriate bracha uh, is barene fashos which will cover the grapes as well. So I think that's uh, that's a good, uh, that's a very good example. So, um, or uh, I mean, maybe a simpler example would be if, if you have this uh, fruit salad and you have, um, uh, you have strawberry in there and you have apples and you have uh, grapes even, right? So, but uh, majority of the fruit, uh, let's say, um, Let's say grapes. Ah, opposite. Let, well, let's say grapes is is majority, uh, right? So even though you say alayit, let's say alayit, it's going to cover uh, your strawberry. Even though you you, you should say barani uh, fashos um, after strawberry because it's not uh, it's it's actually vegetable. But since it is majority uh, is minority, so it's actually covered by uh, the primary. So that's uh, that's the thing. Okay. So come and, uh, continue. Since the other fruits uh, are ikar, the appropriate bracha uh, is barene fashos, uh, which will cover the grapes as well. Okay. Continue. Uh, combination, con um, combination conta uh, containing mesoimes. Okay. So that's uh, that's a very uh, I'm not sure they, they want to finish in one line. Okay, okay. So can, let's let's start and we're going to explain combination containing mesoimes. We have learned in chapter four, section D one, that the mark uh, the mixture contains mesoimes ingredients. The appropriate bracha rishana for that mixture barend mine mesoimes. So commentary, providing that mesoinous ingredients is uh, discernible to the taste and uh, is uh, used in a significant way. There is even, um, if, add, um, if, if, if it is added to give flavor and sustenance in the mixture. Okay, so if you have flour, for example, in that thing, whatever in the dish that, that you have, and it's in uh, uh, a lot of it, so we have, uh, we say, but I mean, name is on the same, it's cover, uh, covers everything. Like I would say maybe like casserole, you have these vegetables. So since it's a lot of uh, flour there, if, if it is a lot of flour, right? So if you say, but I mean, name is on this. A lot, but uh, majority, of course, not flour, of course, it's vegetables. Okay. So continue. Um, 
just one so so basically we, we said since that there, there is misoinous and we say misoinous if uh, uh, these five species of rain are very important right that's uh, that's why Tora is talking about that and uh, that's why we say uh, we say blessing on them because they're important and it should cover all other things as well when determined the correct brahachrana so after blessing so maybe the, the first blessing we understand the, the, they're important but after blessing Technically, if, uh, if uh, as we said before, the person should eat kizais. So maybe in this casserole or some other dish, he did not eat kizais, right? Very possible of of uh, so flour, and that flour the dough, the dough. Um, when um, when the term is the correct bracha uh, achrana, so Indian blessing for a mixture containing mizoinas. An, ad uh, an additional factor must be taken into consideration. Whether or not kizayas of mizoinus ingredient will be eaten within kidea hilas plus. So, like, many times not. I mean, it depends on the food, but uh, in, in this mixture, many, many times he is not going to eat that much. At least not in that period of time. Uh, if enough mizoinus is present in a combination, so that kizayas of the mizoinous ingredient is eaten within, within kidei achilas pras, right? um, about three minutes, okay, they go by stricter, about three minutes, alamichia is required. Okay, so one more time. Um, if enough mizoinous is present in combination, so the kizayas of mizoinous uh, of the ingredients is it the day within kidei achilas pras, as we said before, about three minutes, ala michia is required. However, if less than kizayas of mizoinous ingredient is eaten within kidei achilas pras, so this three to nine minutes, ala michia is not set. Like, straightforward, not set, that's it. Right, so, but, but he say, but any for shows, or for, for other vegetables. Well, where was it? Or uh, or a shahat, or what of the, the, the appropriate blessing on, on the majority of the food? Okay. Um, an average person eating at a normal pace will consume about six kizasim within three minutes. Six kizasim, okay. Three minutes. Thus, a particular mixture were to contain one kizais of mizoinus, Mm -hmm. And five kizasim of other foods. Okay, if one were uh, were eaten at the normal pace, a kizais of mizoinus would be eaten within kidei achilas pras, about three minutes. Okay, so basically, I mean, uh, it's uh, <laughs> tell you what, it's on case by case basis. You you have to be able to estimate how much uh, mizoinus is actually in. Uh, in that mixture. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a little easier, sometimes it's not so easy. Okay. Continue. Okay, so they give example. For example, when uh, when a noodle cabbage mixture is eaten at normal pace, more than uh, kizais of noodles will be consumed within the three minutes. Okay. Therefore, ala mihia is required. Uh, which will cover the cabbage as well. Okay, cabbage should be um, should be carefully inspected for insects prior to use. Okay, of course. I mean, uh, we never find anything in cabbage, right? So, so today I'm going to check for uh, tonight. Actually, that's my assignment to check cauliflower. So that's uh, it's a big job, but. Uh, takes some time, but uh, if you have lecture to listen to, there is no problem. So it's not like 10, 15 minutes, you know. It's a separate mitzvah, so you gotta be very, very careful. So I found a few, few bugs in there. Okay. But never, nothing, never ever in a cabbage. Okay. So continue. And these bugs I found after we washed it. We washed it very, very careful with all of these things. Correct washing in uh, the during the inspection I found. So you gotta be very careful with uh, uh, with the cauliflower, with um, with broccoli. 
But I mean, it just takes time. And if you know what you're doing, so it's not that hard. Okay. Just one second. Um, okay. So they say in this case, uh, this uh, uh, noodles with cabbage. So he would eat this um, his eyes of noodles for sure in three minutes. So, okay. Let him say, I'm going to hear. If there is uh, only a small amount of noodles with a cabbage, or if one eats mostly cabbage and a little uh, noodle, since uh, in either case, the kizais of misoinus will not be eaten within uh, Kidei Hila's class, and Alamihiya should not be said. That's it. All oh. commentary. Um, in this case, Bare Nefashos should be required, uh, provided that Kizais or more of food was eaten within Kidei Hila's class. So in this case, in this case, this uh, Mizoinus, this uh, what is it, the noodles would be added to, um, to cabbage to, to create uh, like his eyes. Okay. Cabbage cannot be added to, uh, to, um, to noodles uh, to say Alamihia, but noodles can be added to cabbage to say uh, Barana Fashos. Continue. If there is only a small amount of noodles, uh, with, uh, within the cabbage. No, okay, okay, I'll pause this. We, we said it. Next one, number two. Various ingredients in cake. So that's, uh, as we <laughs> said, uh, it's it's not so easy. Maybe with cookies, it's, it's, it's easier if you buy cookies. So you see on the packaging how much uh, uh, how much the, the package weighs, and uh, you you can divide how many cookies you have. So you can can have a pretty good ideas like how how many you need. To, to eat uh, to, to eat his eyes, but with a cake, especially when we say about this eight kizasim, I in order to say um, the has Amazon, so it's not so easy. All right, so let's see. We have learned that alamihia may be made only if kizais of mizoinus is eaten with a, uh, within kidei ahilas plus. Uh, there are various opinions among the paskin. As to whether ingredients in a cake other than flour should be counted towards the kizais. For example, if the volume of the particular chocolate cake is um, cake is a uh, half flour, half other ingredients, for example, sugar, cocoa, etc., the issue would be therefore one um, the issue would be whether one kizais or two kizasim must be eaten within, uh, within Kidei Achilles Pras for Alamichia to be required. So I think it's a very good example. So it's it's not like only a little sugar or a little cocoa, so it could be, or chocolate, whatever, whatever they use. Um, it could be even half of it, half of the ingredients, or they add honey, whatever they, whatever they eat, add, so it could be, or jelly, so it could be more than, uh, more than a half, right? So in this case, should he uh, eat uh, two kizais of cake, meaning to make uh, one, one kizais of flour. Many paskim rule that the other ingredients do not count toward the kizais, which is, makes sense. Um, in the above example, unless two kizais of cake are eaten, um should not be said. Uh, cake meaning uh, the, the flour. The Mishnah Brura states, although it is preferable to follow the most rigid view, nevertheless, Minha Khaolam, generally accepted practice, mm -hmm. is that uh, is to make alamihiya on kizais of cake, even though the piece being eaten contains less than kizais of flour. Okay, so I mean, they're very straightforward about it. Right, so one more time. So Mishnah Rura says no. Minchak uh, Ha'olam, like uh, that's a generally accepted practice. That's what people do in life. Right? They say would say Alamihia on a cake, even though the piece eaten contains less than kizais of flour. So uh, by weight is uh, more more than kizai kizais, but it includes sugar and other uh, other ingredients. Right, but uh, we say of course we're trying to uh, go by stricter opinion and try to, to, to make sure that you ate uh, kizais of, um, of actual flour. 
Harab Moshe finds in the Tzal rules, however, that it is not appropriate to rely on this Mincha. Okay. I mean, uh, of course, I mean, it uh, makes sense. I mean, uh, Mishnah Brewer said that's what people do. Is it appropriate? Not. Right? Uh, not. Not what other people do is always correct. Even according to the ruling of Mishnah Brura, cake fillings, such as cherry pie filling or cheesecake, mm-hmm. um, in, in a cheese, um, or cheese in a cheesecake, are not counted as a part of the uh, uh, kazais. For example, a cherry pie contains one part of pie or pie dough and four parts of filling. I think it's even more filling. Okay. Uh, and alamichia is not required unless uh, five kizaisin of pi I eat in the zinc kidea uh, hilas prasin. Right, so I mean, uh, <laughs> it's it's a lot basically. So uh, it, like it's it's very thin, like crust, right? In in this um, in this spice. So to to eat uh, to eat um, kizais, it's a lot. So it's mostly feeling, so this feeling uh, is not counted, basically. So that's uh, that's according to all that you Or cheese and cheesecake. So usually in the cheesecake, of course, they, they eat, uh, they, they add flour in, into, into the cheese to make it like stick together. But uh, but uh, but this, the, 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 the bottom, the crust, the bottom crust, it's, it's very thin usually, right? So this uh, cheese does not combine with, uh, with the crust. But when, when we cannot tell apart, like as we said in chocolate cake, everything was mixed together, that's it. So that's a different story. But Rav Moshe finds and Sal said, don't do it, try it not to, uh, not to follow that opinion, not to, like Minha. Continue, of course, but in case of the need, so you can rely, of course. Uh, the other rules, uh, number one prerequisites. The prerequisites for making Bracha Rishana so I mean the first blessing. Also prior to Blacha uh, Achrana. This uh, requirement is discussed in chapter one. Okay. Uh, number two, Shiyur uh, Shiyur Iku. What does it mean? Let's see. When a person finished eating, he has a limited amount of time within which to make Bracha Achrana. The amount of time that is uh, takes uh, for Iku a lackically def- defined point of digestive process to begin, after the amount, uh, amount of time elapses, he can no longer make the bracha achrana. The subject discussed in chapter 10. So we've actually learned that. So if uh, if he could just, let's say, kizayis of cookies, I, I don't think anybody can get uh, food from kizayis of cookies. So, I mean, uh, I like, unless very tiny person, child or somebody, right? So. So technically, this person had abs- uh, like absolutely maximum thirty minutes to say the blessing, right? And if he is very hungry after that, so he is not even allowed to say that, right? Uh, this blessing. So, but if he was satiated, so it's a different story. So he have one more time to say uh, blessing, because as they say, maybe it's seventy-two minutes tops. Right, but uh, for other uh, things like other like key and then uh, like bread, so if he satiated, he continue eating like uh, he ate a lot, a lot, a lot. Right, so even maybe two hours later, he can say the blessing. But uh, as proper as we said before many times, it's proper not to leave the place where you eat until you say uh, uh, the blessing. <clears throat> Number three, priority. Beyond the requirements of making uh, the correct bracha, Hazal mandated the requirements to recite each bracha according to defined uh, defined order of priority. Right, so we have uh, like rule for everything. Uh, this halach is discussed in chapter eleven. Apply to bracha achrana as well. For example, uh, if one dates and cake are eaten, the order within uh, the text should the uh, um, or bracha achrana is ala michia for cake, ala gefen for wine, and ala eats for dates. Okay, so that's, I mean, that, that's what you now see the ruling, in bencher, whatever you use. Right, so we say ala michia for all of this misogynous food, right, ala uh, gefen for wine or grape juice, 
and our aids for uh, this uh, grapes on figs or dates on the end. Okay. The brachah lana for mizoynes, for the fruit of the seven species, and for one takes presence of the barren nefashos. For example, if one ate cake and drank milk, he should first recite alamichia and then barren nefashos. But after the fact, so after the fact, if he did not say in correct order, so he, so he can say actually it's it's questionable if we can say if uh, so if. He, I, I would say it this way. So if you start say, saying um, um, on the milk, right? And, and you realize that you, you already like started, that, that you realize that you, you should have, have uh, said, you should have said on, uh, uh, on Amazonas, right? So you can have in mind not to include until you finish the blessing, not to include uh, these uh, cookies or cakes, whatever you, you want to cover. Right, so I said I am making this blessing in your mind, of course. I'm making the blessing only on the milk, excluding the uh, cake. Continue, number four, being motzi others. In certain cases, one may be motzi others. This bracha chenar requirement. Uh, this uh, discussed in chapter twelve, section D. So just just to remind us what what we said there. So it's proper not to not to include others into requirements, so let them uh, say their own blessing, right? Uh, but if they cannot say, they sick, they small, they whatever, old, whatever cases, so you can say, after the fact, you can say for them. Okay. But it's proper if they say by, by themselves, even in the has Amazon, so it's proper even one, one person is leading, so it's proper for other people to say like quietly by themselves. Continue, uh, number five, doubt. Okay, if one is not uh, sure whether he ate kizayis or is within the minimal uh, time discussed above, he may not make brachachrena. So if you're not sure, if you finish in at least up to nine minutes, or uh, reviz, uh, drink, drink reviz in a period of time, appropriate, so you cannot say. So what, what you should do, as we said in the previous chapter, so what you should do, you, should, you have to, uh, eat or drink, or whatever, whatever uh, food in doubt is, right? Food that have a same uh, after blessing. And then you, you say this after blessing on that food you just ate. And uh, keep in mind that you wanna also include the, the other food that you ate before that you're not sure uh, if, um, if you ate it in, in a correct span of time. Okay. Uh, they say with regard to the doubts uh, about making the Has Amazon, see the footnote. Okay, we got to get the footnote. Similarly, if one does not remember whether or not he made Bracha Achrana, right, the end of blessing, he may he may not make the Bracha Achrana. So, okay, so for first case we just discussed, if he thinks maybe the, the time uh, passed, okay. Here we say we do, he does not remember if he actually said it. That's a different story. So even if he uh, he does not remember, so do not uh, do not say. Basically, so one, one more time, solution: eat something else, and uh, and keep in mind. So if I did not say on uh, this, this uh, previous food, it should be included. If it uh, uh, if if I actually said it, okay. So I'm, I'm just saying uh, only for, for this food that I just ate right now, right now or drank, whatever the case is. Regarding what uh, to do in the cases where uh, making bracha is special, we'll see chapter 16, section B. That's what we discussed last time. There is one comment there. If one does not remember whether or not he benched, meaning the say bracha samazon, he is required to do so, providing he was satiated. Since the requirements to bench when one satiated is midarisa, even when doubt uh, one must bench. So basically, what, what it says here, so a person does not remember if he said the chasam. I'm not sure how a person cannot remember, but uh, that's a different story. But uh, everything is possible. Let's say he does not remember, so he has to, especially if he ate more than uh, kizayas or 
uh, or he ate uh, only his eyes, but he ate all other foods and, got, and he's very satiated. So we say, okay, no problem. No, no problem. Uh, and you can uh, actually, um, you can actually what? You, you can, you have to actually say uh, because it's biblical. Okay, we can start here. We finish the chapter. Uh, okay, any questions, comments? <clears throat> okay, if not, so, okay, we should do Shabbos and until, uh, until uh, next week, uh, Monday, there's a discussion. Thank you and good night. Good night.